for this video, I'm going to be showing you a partial install on the Saycane radio. And I say partial install because it was already installed prior to this video. So I'm just going to be showing you the ins and outs on getting it installed. All right, let's check it out. All right, here's my Saycane radio. I never did a, a install on it, but I figure I'd do one today so as you can tell it's already been in the jeep so here's like all the wiring for it uh, got my rear view camera my uh my speakers all that junk place for USB cables that comes with it. You plug it, uh, I think it's like two USBs in the one. Just plug it into there. Uh, this is for a GPS right here. This is for the radio, AM and FM. Uh, that comes with the Saycane radio and you just plug this up into your um, your radio port and this is for wi-fi this is a huge deal with this thing because it's a tablet but you can only get the full enjoyment out of it if you have wi-fi so yeah you're gonna need that you're gonna you need to get you like a little hot spot or something you know and what else is in here? All kind of stuff. So like, if, if you want to have like separate, separate like TVs, like maybe for your headrest or something, there's a spot for it within these cables. So yeah. <clears throat> and now uh, I'm not gonna put my old radio back in just to take it back out, but to get it out, to get your old radio out. As many of you know, there's like this little piece right here, mainly for um for your windows, if you have power windows, but if not, it's just like a hole with something in it to not show all this junk behind there. But long story short, you wanna take that out. And to to take it out, what I did, I, I used a knife and just pried it open. I didn't break anything, so don't, don't go ramble on it and break a lot of stuff. Just take your time with it, pop it out, and unplug the uh, the harness. And you will also need to take these bad boys out. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see that. But you wanna stick a flathead screwdriver in and twist it around. Uh, let's see if I, I don't have one on me right now. This is actually in the Jeep, but well, let's see. this might work i doubt it this ain't gonna work it's too big but yeah this is what you want to do it's too big it's not going to work but i'll show you the motion so you want to line this up just like that take this stick it inside of that hole at the top right there stick it inside and once you stick it inside you want to turn it that way and your vents will come out. You, you got to do that for one, two, and the, the third one that's right over here. So, yeah. And this is my, um, what you call it? My CB mount. I drilled two holes at the top of it. I was scared of shit when I did it too, excuse my language. I drilled two holes at the top, one right here, one right there. And I mounted my CB radio onto it because I I had the CB, didn't know where to put it because I have my uh I have my switch pod at the top. So I needed somewhere to put my CB radio, so I said fuck it, put it on top of the um Say Kane radio. Alright, let's get to this install. Alright, back in the Jeep. Got everything pretty much bust open right now. 
this right here this is for my um my rear view camera this wire right here rear view camera uh this is for my gps i have that mounted right here coming all i need to clean this shit out it's dusty as hell up in there I have my wire coming all the way down into here, feeding into here, coming back out. All right, that's GPS. This is going to hook up to, this is, this is like the main computer system. It's gonna hook up to this right here. All right, this is the UB, USB port that I was telling you guys about. It has two connected to it. It plugs into this one right here. And I have those coming out at the bottom right there, if you can see. Uh, what else we got in here? You know, like that. Here are my speaker wires, one and two. I have both of those right here, one and two. Uh, what else? Mm. This is for the radio. I like this one. This is for the radio. All right. And to get your old radio out, you have a screw right here, and you have and you have one up here. So two screws. One. They're not even screws though. One right here. And one right there, you would need a seven millimeter socket wrench. Where is it at? I got it somewhere. I don't know where I put it up my lap. Here it is, right here. Don't really need an extendo on it, but I got the extendo. I always work with the extendo. And this is the knife that I use. I love this knife. This is the knife I use to pry out my, uh, my power window uh, controller. And this is the harness for that right here. And with the Seikane radio, it comes with the new piece because with the uh, with the old piece, it is attached to the actual monitor itself. So the Seikane company, they provided another piece for you. So you have to take out all of this, all of this from the middle to the left. And it all comes out in one piece. Seikane comes with two pieces, this and that. All right, so I'm gonna plug all this junk back up. And yeah, this is a very easy install, I must say. All right, so I hooked my amp wire up to this uh, blue and white cable. And I hooked my speaker, I mean shit, my uh, rear view camera to this brown, this brown cable. And Plugging in my GPS. There you go. This is gonna be the last thing I plugged in, plug in because my wire isn't that long. Well, it's long, but I didn't feed it through enough to get that extra length. Um, same thing with my speaker wires. I'm not gonna pull that extra length out just to plug it in. But yeah. All right, so that's everything that's really needs to be plugged in right now. I can't work with one hand, so you're just gonna have to trust me. All right, everything is all in. Trying to find my keys. Uh, what the hell I do with my keys? All right, found my keys. Now before I button all this stuff back up, time to see if it works. Oh, and you can also program this to say other things other than Jeep. I don't know why you would wanna to say other things other than Jeep, but uh, that's the radio trimming out. It's currently set to AM whenever you reset it. I 
Lionel Messi. Let's see. Oh, I already have a preset. I currently don't have a car antenna because somebody stole it all. I had a camouflage uh, 50 cal antenna. Somebody stole it all, but. Let's see what all you could do on here. So you go to settings. Hmm. I need to take my flash off so y'all can see what's going on. All right, so you go to settings, uh, car settings. Uh, I think it's extra. I forgot the code, man. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven at the end of that. I don't remember. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So you scroll down to logo setting. And you could choose all kind of different stuff for like when you want the car to start up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they got all kinds of vehicles on here. I don't know why you would want it to say any thing else if you don't have a jeep but yeah let's go with the jeep so back out and like i said you need to get a hot spot or something so you could enable wi-fi i currently have my hot spot inside inside of my home and i didn't bring it out but you could do all kind of stuff on it it's pretty much like having a tablet tablet in your car I got Apple Music, YouTube, um, all kinds of stuff. I still need to get my OBD2 monitor so that I could uh, check all kind of crap that's going on with my vehicle. Uh, we got Google Chrome. Yeah, I'll be, I be doing a little Uber and Lyft driving. You know what I'm saying? Got your Waze app. The Waze app, that's a, that's a big plus for this unit because I don't know if you guys know, but Waze lets you know if there's any police on a highway. So you could do some, do a little speeding, you know, and before them pop, them cops get you, you could get them and slow your ass down. But yeah, you can do a lot of things with this, uh, download screen savers and stuff like that. Have fun with it. It's a easy install. You now I'm about to uh, tighten, tighten all this stuff back up and get rolling all right so this is um one of the bolts for the seven millimeter it goes right up in here uh like the hand tighten it first to go in here. Ooh, I need to clean that out. Yeah. I can't feel it. Where is that? Huh. All right. And tighten that up. Those wires back there, that's for my uh, CB radio. Uh, 
Let me put this down real quick. Mm. Need two hands up in this piece, man. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? All right. Got that situated. So, now. Um, This is what goes inside of that. I got my Bible. I always keep my Bible on the dash. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? All right, move those out the way real quick. Fix my Bible. All right, that's fine. Uh, CB Radio, you dig? This thing, oh lord, I need to dust this stuff off. I never really realized how dusty this stuff was until now. Jesus, help me. Oh no. All right, just got done hooking my CB radio up. All right, now it's time to get this back in there. This is what I was talking about too, the uh, power window remote. So hold on for a sec while I uh, slide this baby back in. Just snaps back in like one, two, three. You dig? Um, and yeah, say came radio install. You hear me? Now to add the final piece. Uh, my man Jimmy. There you go. Say can't radio install. <laughs>